Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge that many developers encounter when writing unit tests. Our viewer asks, how can I mock context dot done in a unit test for an HTTP handler that sets a context deadline on each request? Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To mock the context deadline exceeded in your unit test, we need to ensure that the done channel signals when the context is done. Let's modify our mock context to simulate a deadline. Here's how we can implement this. We'll create a channel that closes after a specified duration, simulating the context deadline being exceeded. Now, when we run our test, the done channel will close after five seconds, triggering the second case in the select statement of your handler. Finally, ensure that your test checks for the correct status code. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the expected timeout response. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To mock the done method in your context, you need to ensure it returns immediately. The original mock context doesn't close the channel, causing the goroutine to hang indefinitely. Instead, create a channel, close it right away, and return it. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.